I'm actually Korean. Hey guys, welcome back to the video today. We're going to be talking about depression or sadness if you want to put it lightly. I've been sad lately because I wasn't happy where I was going to or what I'm becoming. I've lost, uh, I haven't been working out, I'm working out now, but I wasn't happy where I was. My body was so disgusting and gross. It, it's okay to be fat if you want to. I just didn't feel happy that I was so fat. It was, I'm, I felt disgusted. I felt, uh, I was having a hard time. Felt different because I've used to work out every day. Damn boy, I was so fit. I think that was my fittest ever. You see that chance? Look at that. No, that much, not much fat, but it's fat a little bit. But damn, look, look at my traps, shoulders, biceps, everything was good. I miss working out, That's that was three years ago. I think that's the peak of my triceps. Not flexing, a little bit maybe. I used to look like that, but the haircut's bad though. Like, ugh. I'll tell you how I got through what I was feeling, like uh, depression or sadness, if you want to put it lightly. I used to read quotes. It's, it's simple. It's a simple. I used to read quotes all the time go to Twitter, read these inspiring quotes or motivating motivating quotes that helped me go through the stuff I was going through. I had injuries, breakups, heartbreaks, losing friends, losing loved ones. And losing friends that you really care about, it's sad to lose someone. It's always sad to lose someone. Depressing because you spend so much time with them and then they're just going to disappear and leave you. But you can't force them to stay with you if you don't want to. But yeah, these are the quotes that made me, who made me today. Time, I've been, uh, humiliated? Humiliated. I've been humu hum humiliated. I've been humiliated a lot of times, like saying you can't do this, you're too stupid. It's true that I'm stupid, but the thing is that you can't do this, you can't do that. Like, you're, you're nothing, you're too dumb. Uh, I was... Always, I was bullied back then. I'm fat, of course, they're gonna bully fat people. That was the way it was back then. They bullied me. I couldn't really do anything, I didn't work out, but fifth grade, fourth grade. Just don't give up. Even if it feels like you have, everything has failed, everything has fallen, like that you're not happy anymore. Don't give up, cause back then I used to want to give up. And it's like, I don't want to be like this anymore, I want to end this, but in turn that I got words of wisdom from my brother. Uh, if it ends now, you're not gonna feel anything in the future. You're not gonna see people you love and you're not gonna leave people you love. And I'm like, uh, I don't wanna feel that. I don't wanna do that. So I didn't. It hurts a lot when you love someone if you, it's, or it's an infatuation that you say that you love them even if, you know, you didn't actually love them. You just really like them. And it takes time. For me, I, I'm, I easily move on or you know like think because I'm uh, practical it's like why would you keep yourself there it made me practical the quotes here why would you keep yourself in that state if you're not happy and being that state you're too sad don't be in that state you're only hurting yourself avoid hurting yourself avoid avoid hurting others as well you're gonna experience heartbreaks no matter what even if even if you say oh this is the best, best relationship ever this I'm so happy with this relationship even if you are happy, it's still gonna hurt. It's still, it might, it might fall apart, but it's some people, they don't, it doesn't fall apart. Hopefully it doesn't if you have a relationship or something. And a lot of people think like, oh, I want them to break up. I don't want them, I don't like them. Everyone experiences heartbreak or a loss. Even if love, is, it can be anything, loved ones, friends, family. It hurts to lose someone, but it, it you have to move on, even if, you know, they're gone, they're, they left you, they don't like you back, it's fine. Just move on, you have to do it. For yourself and for that person. I, I've experienced that before. It's gonna take time to heal. It, for me, it takes a week, one, three days to a week before. Because when you realize it's, this is a toxic relationship, when you realize it's, if it's, it's, it's easy moving on if you make it in a bad way. Like, it's easy to move on when you hate the person or you get to hate. Oh, they did this, that's why I'm so mad. They cheated or something. If you think that way, it's gonna be easier for you to move on, but it's a bad way because if it's not true, then it's not. 
just face the facts, the things that didn't work out, that's fine. It didn't work out, don't force it. Don't force someone to love you even if they don't want none to love you. Don't force them to stay even if they don't want to stay. And you should know that. You should be open-minded about stuff like they want. You know what people see. If You, you know what you see, like, I don't want to be here. They don't want to be here. Like, don't force them to. For me, if there's something, someone's leaving, I want closure before anything happens. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be with you guys. I don't like you guys. I want closure. Why? If you could fix it. If not, then it's fine. As long as you actually, like, talk about it. But I don't want to be here anymore. And it's like, it's fine. Because I recently lost a friend. He doesn't watch my videos. Uh, he's gone. He's still there, but he's gone, you know? He's still with us, but he's not with us, you know? It's hard to see that uh, someone would just disappear like that. Sad, but it's that's how it is. If that's what he wants, don't ever force anyone upon you. Don't force them to stay even if they don't want to. Don't be crazy. Be practical. Think about the situation. For me, when my th what I do, it's like I would like to do a lot of things. Because for me, it's no regrets. The things happen for a reason. If you don't, if you didn't do this, this wouldn't happen. And for me, I would like to say, yeah, I did that. It's better to experience something rather than nothing. It's better to believe in something rather than nothing. Life is too short. It is. It moves too fast. No regrets for me. Do things right. Don't do no regrets. That is like doing bad things, criminal things. Don't do that. For me, I. That's my motto before. It still is, I guess. It's with me. No regrets because do things that is worth it and not bad don't do that so i want to jump on off a plane and they like they couldn't because they're too scared they, and for me if i i would jump off a plane with a parachute and i'm not gonna jump off a plane with a parachute i would do it if i had the money but i don't have money uh i would i would skydive problem is all oh, people they're too scared they're too scared they don't want to do these things because they might get hurt for me, my from my, my advice to those kind of people, if you're like that, if you're watching this, do it. As long as it's a good thing, do it. Or you're not hurting anyone. Do what makes you happy, as long as it's right and good. Because if it makes you happy and you're hurting other people, don't do it. That's bad. Like, here's what I really want in my life, because I want to be the person I can't really do mentally, because I'm not really good mentally. You know, in intelligently. I'm not good intelligently because I'm not that smart. I want to be the best version of myself no matter what. Except for that's why I got so sad. I was so fat. I want to be the best version of myself, be fit because that's what I feel that makes me happy. I want to work out. I'm starting to do it again, working out again. That's what I do. When you love someone, I go all out. Do that's because the thing is, no regrets. Because once, if it ends, that's a, if it ends poorly, at least you could say that you did everything. You did everything that you could have done. Did what you should have done. Did what you do. Did what you did. And you're going to say that in the, in, the, in the end, you're going to be like, yeah, I did everything that I could. At least you made someone happy. You made her happy. Surely, if you're in a relationship, you should be happy. If you're not, then end that relationship because you're not happy. Because you can't really go back in time and change it. The regret thing is, there's no point regretting. You're just going to make you feel, oh, damn, I should have done this. I should have done that. There's no point because you can't go back and change it. It already happened. Do something about now. Don't think about the future or the past. Learn from the past. Move on. Do what you have to do this current time. Don't just stay the person who you were in the past. And don't judge someone from the past. Do judge them in the now. Or don't judge at all. Because that's not the person they are anymore. If they still are, as they you show they show it, then just leave them alone. Just let them be. That's who they are. This is stupid. A person that truly loves you will never let you go no matter what. No matter how hard the situation is. The thing is, if you love someone, it's not about possession. Oh, I love you, I'm gonna stay with you forever. If they don't like, want to stay with you, and you, lo you love them, if you truly love them, it's not about possession, it's about appreciation. The thing is, it didn't work out. It's not you and her, or him and him, whatever your preference is. 
if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You can't force it. Like, I'm going to stay with you no matter what. I don't, I don't care. So what I learned is like, don't think about this, the time. Like, you wasted time spent. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. So if it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. You can't force things unless you, both of you, like actually like each other and want to stay with each other. Don't force it. Because if you just for keep forcing yourself and saying that, oh damn, I wasted so much time on this. I spent three years with this person and they're just gonna disappear. No, yeah, and I'm staying with me. You ain't escaping, bitch. I hate that. It's like, if what? Uh, oh, why'd you leave me? You told me to leave you, and you're gonna be like, oh, you bitch. I wanted you to fight for me. Then say that you want to fight. Then tell me that you want to fight for me. Okay? Don't just say, oh. You gave up. Why? I just listened. You say, said she doesn't want me anymore. Why would you keep saying, I wanted you to fight for me. Ugh. You didn't fight for me, you fight bitch. You crazy? What the fuck? Tell me what you want to do, not... I don't... I can't guess what you're thinking. Like, oh, he didn't fight for her. That's why you, you lost her. Like, bitch! What the fuck? If you want something, do it. As long as it's good. Don't do bad things. Please. I'm not encouraging you to do anything bad. Do what you want, but don't do anything bad. If you want something bad, don't do it. No, bad. I said bad. I said wrong thing to do. If you want something really bad, then do it if you want. As long as you're doing it good. Just think, uh, other people don't see it when they're so toxic and no one likes them. Because for me, I didn't have friends back then. If no one likes you, you, have, you should at least see that. Don't be in denial that, ah, oh, I'm being friends with these guys. Uh, don't, because it's clear and you should at least see it. If they don't like you, don't. Something's wrong with you. For me, if I'm being toxic, I have to change. Because for me, what I think, I have to improve every single day. No matter how small it is, like you uh, worked out, this improved. Uh, yeah, like think about it. Do something about it. You're toxic. Don't be toxic. Do something. Change something. If your attitude's bad, of course people are not gonna like you, and you should see that. I have a, friend, I have a classmate that is really, you know, uh, annoying, I guess. And you're, I'm in college, you, you're in college, you should at least think, like, is something wrong with me? Uh, not wrong with you, but maybe. I've made it this far. Why not keep going, continue what you're doing? And keep moving forward because not everyone gets their dream job. I would want to make this be a dream job, but of course it might not happen. But I'm still gonna make videos even if it's not gonna work out because I, my sister, that would what my sister would want. Uh, she created this, and she wanted me to be to keep making videos. She even said that uh, if I'm not gonna make videos, I should just delete my channel. So makes me, you know, you need to keep working, keep moving, and just keep doing what I do. Because uh, the thing is, when you just say something, it doesn't really prove any point. When you actually do something, that's what you prove. You say that, I love you, you just say that, it doesn't really mean anything unless you do something about it. You show them that you really care, you hug them, you, you the hug. Sometimes the hug feels like nothing, it's like, that's just a hug. But there's a hug that you actually miss that person. You really love that person. You have to. It depends on your actions. Do things that makes you, you know, prove it. Don't just say it. Do it. Do it now. Prove it now. Don't just say, yeah, I'll do this later. But then you didn't do it. Just do it. When you say something, do it. Once you lose someone's trust, I think I've experienced that before. I've lost trust on someone because they they lied to me, or they they left out uh, information that you asked for. It's like oh, you didn't really ask for, but you, of course you want to know that, but you didn't know. You just learned out. Oh shit, she lied or missed out. She didn't tell me. He didn't tell me. Whatever. There are a lot. I say a lot. I talk a lot. I really like talking. That's why videos make so much, it's so long. We stay in love by choice. It's your choice if you want to stay, be, stay in love with that person or not. You can love them, I guess, in a different way, not love them in a romantic way. Because you experience that, you have to let go a lot. But if you're friends first, that's the thing. 
when your friends, I truly experience that. When you're friends first, you can do it. But if you're not actually real friends before, then it won't happen. Uh, if you break up and you're actually friends, I believe that you can actually be friends. If you're not there in their life, you want what's best for them. If they want you in their life, sure. But if, whether you're, they're not there or not, you just want what's best for them. Even if it includes you. Which is fine. Because you want them to be happy. That's how I got through depression, sadness. That's how what built me, who I am. Things will work out in the end. If it's not fixed, it's not finished, that means it's not the end. There's challenges in your life that you have to go through. Not everyone goes through the same thing, but it's similar. What you go through in your life, everyone experienced it before. Ask questions uh, like, have you experienced this? Have people know that what you're going through? But yeah, that's how I got through it. Uh, you could use it if you want to. I hope it helped because it helped me. It surely helped me. Uh, there's more. I'm actually Korean. I'm kidding. I'm not Korean. I just have a Korean haircut. I got a haircut. I got it really short because I was really sad. I've experienced. I already told you. I was really sad. And, uh, uh, yabaseyo. <laughs> uh, Kimchi. I don't know Korean Andy doesn't really teach me. I know swear words he taught me, but I can't say that. I don't want this video to be that dark or, you know, sad. I hope it's inspiring or something. It helps you. Hopefully it helps you. Hope you guys like the video. Leave a like and subscribe. Click that like button. Comment down below what you think. Hopefully it helps you what code inspired you the most or what code you like. Just do it. And thank you for watching. And that is all for me. See you! In the next one! Hope you guys like the video, leave a like and subscribe. And click that bell button so you get notified when I post another video.